Hello Tema, welcome back to my channel. This is the second video of my series about sewing my 1913s dress. Uh, today we are going over the skirt construction, so I'm going to show you how I drafted the pattern as well as how I did the mock-up and what I changed and things like that. I decided to split the skirt video into two because I have so much footage and um, it makes more sense for me because then I can also post more regularly. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> So today we are just going over the construction and in the next video I am going to show you how I sewed that skirt together. Um, the first video, in case you are interested and haven't seen it yet, will be linked in the description box down below as well as my blog because I feel like my blog posts are always a little bit more um, explanatory than what I talk you through here because I don't know. I can explain better when I write than when I talk, so both will be linked down below and yeah, I hope you enjoy, so let's get started. I tried to figure out how the skirt could work and I think I got it. It does not look as if there's a seam somewhere in this panel, so this center front and side skirt panel must be one piece. The same goes for this one, even though you don't really see that much because it's hidden by the lace, but I think it slopes down and there are two pleats that you see on one of the pictures in the back. And I was unsure, but I don't think that the train is connected to this panel up here. I think the train is the second panel of the under layer of the skirt and there are seams here but they stop shortly before this panel ends so these edges stick a little bit out and then the train is here <laughs> it is really strange and I'm not sure if I figured it out but at least it's something I can try I think I'm going to try and come up with the pattern and then do a mock-up and see if it looks anything like the pictures. This is the back by the way on the picture so as you can see I think there is a seam here but the edge here is sticking out so it's not sewn completely until the end of this panel and also here you can see the pleat. So I started this project like most of my projects by drafting the pattern and as you can see I just take some fabric that I normally don't iron because I am very professional and then I just start to draw out the shape that I want. Normally I use fabric that was very cheap. This one, I think this is a lining fabric that I bought for two dollars a meter so I don't mind using it for drafting. And yeah, that's the train. It is very narrow. My first trial was too narrow. I did not really like it, which is why when I transferred it to paper, I changed that. And now we're drafting the panel, the front panel of the skirt. I did this twice because the first time it did not really work out. So this is the second try. <laughs> and um, yeah, that one was tricky. And But I think we've got it in the end so here is my first and very rough draft of the uh, under layer of the skirt uh, as you can see this will require some tweaks but starts to look like something um, the front panel needs to be lengthened then there's something I have to do about the waistline. I think I'm going to use small pleats because you won't see them. There's the overskirt that will hide them. And um, I will have to add more space for my hips and my butt because I won't fit this. My dress form doesn't have a butt. I don't know why, but she doesn't. Maybe I have to pat her once. And um, yeah. So I will draft the overskirt now and then try to transfer this to a paper pattern, add seam allowance and things like that, even out the length. 
even out both sides because I'm sure this is not symmetrical at the moment and things like that. So I'll see you later. Hello you guys. I have absolutely no idea where I left this project at. I think I did not film how I uh, draped this overskirt thingy. So <laughs> let me do a short recap. So I draped this with the pleat here. And I think also for the under skirt thing, I have to add some small pleats up here to make it lie flat on the body. And it's also never going to fit over my behind, so I have to add around five centimeters here. Also for the overskirt. And um, for the underskirt, I'm going to just make the train a bit wider because I think that one is too thin anyways for the overskirt I have to see but I think I'm going to do the pleats no not the pleats the darts right now and then I will try and transfer this to pattern paper and add those additional five centimeters and do a mock-up because I think I have to I have to I have to sew it up to <laughs> see what I have to change at uh, this point. I am also still not sure about the construction, but we'll see what it's going to look like. So I transferred all the pieces to pattern paper and what I do at this stage is uh, I even out all the lines, I make things symmetrical. For the train piece I also cut it in half so I can cut it out on the fold which you unfortunately don't see on the footage but that's what I did. I evened out all the um, straight lines and things like that. I am currently transferring the pattern pieces that I drafted to paper. I have corrected uh, a lot already, so this is going to be fun. I think we will have to correct many things after doing the mock-up, but we'll see. And um, yeah, it's messy. I hope the final one looks decent somehow, but if not, I, I don't really care. It's just a pattern, but um, I have to add uh, closure up here. I just realized. I, I I thought about it while drafting the overskirt, but I totally forgot that I would have to add it here. So this will be cut on the fold and um, so think about that and also how I'm going to close it because I, I don't know yet. So um, yeah, we, we will keep that in mind. So we do have a first draft of the pattern. I evened out the pieces, I made them symmetrical and things like that while transferring them to paper and um, I also added those additional 5 centimeters I need to fit my behind. So let's cut out the fabric for the mock-up and uh, I really wonder if this is going to look like something. And yeah, we're just cutting out all the pieces that we need for the skirt mock-up. At the moment, I am using some taffeta that I bought for another project that is unfortunately not going to happen, so I use it for that. I think it was about $5 a meter, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. And yeah, adding some more centimeters because I feared that it might still not fit me, which ended up not being necessary for the part that I am right now cutting out, which is the overskirt panel. So I, I think I used two meters and 20 centimeters in total of this fabric, which was 160 meters wide. So it does eat quite some fabric and that's without placing the fabric on the grain or something like that. It's without the lining so I'm a little bit concerned whether I'm going to have enough fabric or not. And I also, I think I did not add the additional 5 centimeters to the overskirt. So I added them on this side. Oh, I'm pointing somewhere weird because I did not look at the camera, sorry. So I added them there. And uh, yeah, let's try and put this thing together. I am absolutely not sure if the size will fit me or not, so we're just going to try and see what happens. 
And now it's just putting everything together. I used a half centimeter for the seam allowance, which is not a lot, but uh, as I mentioned before, and I think I am repeating myself quite a lot, <laughs> is that I still feared that it would not fit me. So only half a centimeter of seam allowance. And um, I also did not do anything fancy. I just used a normal seam and sewed this thing together because it was just testing the pattern. This is not too bad, actually. I have some some space left in my around my waist, so I need to fix that. And I am going to add some more centimeters from here on, because the skirt should fold down straight, and now it hugs my booty, which is also nice, but not what I'm going for. So two or three centimeters from here on and up here I have to take two or three out but to be honest this is not bad the skirt needs to be a bit longer because those edges should touch this this floor but do you see that it works with the edges going outwards but I think I need to do the curved hem to make it look like something but um this is not too bad I have to correct some things, but it uh, doesn't look too bad. I'm going to do the overskirt thing now. This ha It has two pleats, so that I see if that one fits as well, and um, then correct the pattern. As you can see, I am also done with the overskirt, and from the front it looks pretty good. I have to level the hem, but the pleats at the waist, I think this is going to work nicely. But, and that could be my mistake because I did not iron anything so far, <laughs> the pleats in the back look quite horrible. So I am going to pleat this, or to, to iron this, I mean. And um, there's also a little bit much fabric in the back. So I think I did add the five centimeters and now it's just too big. So. I need to remember that, I'm going to write it down, but I'm going to iron this now and see if the pleats fall nicer like this, and um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from ironing. Um, I ironed the overskirt and the pleats, and um, I think that's, that's going to work. So... I'm going to leave it at that and uh, mark on the pattern that I have to iron the pleats this way to make them look decent. I hope it's going to look decent. We're going to see. Um, yeah, I think on the real garment I am going to try the overskirt one more time before I use the fashion fabric because I'm I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. So what I'm going to do now is transfer all the alterations onto pattern paper. So I have a clean and nice pattern and um, then we can start to assemble the skirt. So before I started the things I'm doing right now, I did write down all the things that I wanted to change on the pattern and I also highlighted them with a yellow marker. Maybe you see one or two things on that pattern piece. Um, what I am doing now is trying to even out the hem and uh, I have no idea if this is a good method that I chose here. So if, if, if you have an idea if this is good or not, please let me know because I don't know. Then the next thing was I just took some pattern paper, put it over the pattern piece and then started to, well, yeah, draw all the alterations and all the lines and everything one more time onto the new piece. I made a mistake there, as you can see I'm correcting it and then I noticed that I could use a ruler because that makes things more professional. Um, I wanted to add two centimeters there because it makes the pleat sit in a nice place. And yeah, then I just wrote everything down, I marked the darts and named the pattern piece and that's it. 
I am done doing the corrections on my pattern. As you can see, I did these two pieces one more time. I left this one because here it's really only adding seam allowance, which I hope I'm not going to forget. I have marked it in yellow there, but uh, maybe you can see it. And um, that's it. I guess I'm going to leave it at that for today's video. I hope you don't mind that it's just the construction, but um, I have enough footage for one video, so I think I'm going to edit it and upload this part one of making the skirt, and next time we are going to make it out of the real fabric. I have not yet decided how I'm going to join those two panels. I'm thinking about hemming this and lining this and then join the two panels, but let's see. And that's already it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for your messages. I love getting in touch with you. Thanks a lot for being subscribed and I hope that I'll see you next time. I wish you a great rest of your Sunday and see you. Bye!